In this video, I'll show you how to make a free Minecraft server using Atenos. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. The first thing you need to do is come to the Atenos website, which is atenos.org. Then what you need to do is scroll down and go and tap on play. Um, just in the top right, or you may need to scroll down and then it'll be in your top right. Go and tap on it. Then what you need to do is either log in if you already have an account, but if you don't, go and press sign up. I'm assuming you don't already have an account to so go and tap on sign up. Then all you need to do is go and enter a username. So I'm gonna enter my uh, name, which is Rob, and then Guide Realm because that is the name of this channel. Um, and you need to go and agree to the terms of service and also the privacy policy. I've already read these, but make sure you do agree to them. And then all you need to do is go and enter a password and you have the option of entering an email. And after clicking sign up, you'll be taken to this page here, which is called servers. And this is where we can actually go and create our server. So on Atenos, you can have multiple servers, um, but of course, because it's a brand new account, we haven't got any at the moment. So let's go and tap on create a server, just like so. Then all you need to do is go and select which version of Minecraft you want to go and create the server for. So you've got Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, so you need to know which version of Minecraft you're playing. Most people are probably playing Java Edition, but you may also pay Bedrock Edition as well. Then you can go and choose the sort of name of your server. So tap on the little pen icon and you can go and change how this appears. And it is important to note this part will need to be unique. So some of them may, may have been taken. So you have to make sure it's unique, but it's going to go and say if it's been taken already. But I'm going to keep Rob Guide Realm. And you can also go and change the description as well as so tap here. Um, and then you can go and change the color and also what it goes and says. So I could go and make welcome green, for example, just like that. It's now green. Then once you're happy with that, all you then need to do is tap on create again, and then your server will actually be created. Here it is, and there we go. You've now gone and created the server, but I want to go and quickly explain how Atenos works and how you can then join the server as well. So the great thing about Atenos is, is that you can go and use things like mods, plugins, and so much more as well. Um, so I'll quickly explain that. So come over to the left-hand side of Atenos, and the first thing you want to do is go and tap on options, just like so. And here we can go and configure sort of the settings to your server. So as you can see, you can go and turn monsters off, you can change the amount of slots, um, enable fly mode and you know everything you can customize for on a normal Minecraft server you can go and do here um, and then if you come down to console that's basically a console you can go and sort of OP yourself and things like that but your server will need to be on you've got a log which is going to go and give you all the details about the server players of course it's going to take all the players software is really useful you can go and change the software if you're going to be using mods or plugins but that's sort of a further matter you probably just want to get started for now then you're gonna got files as well, which is useful. And there will be many more files once you've turned on your server for the first time, but until you turn it on, things haven't been fully generated. Then you've got and got worlds as well. So here you can go and um, upload world files. You can go and generate custom worlds as well. You can enter a seed, for example, um, and things like that. And then you've got um, backups. So you can back up your server and access, which means you can go and add other Atenos users to your server um, and they can turn it on and things like that. But now let's go and turn our server on. So tap on server at the top and then go and press start, just like so. You'll need to go and agree to the Minecraft EULA and you can also go and have notifications if you'd like. So now your server is now turning on, as you can see. And it may take some time for the server to start, but just be patient. And once the server goes online, you'll go and hear a ding sound and it now says online. And now it's important to know if no one's on the server, then Aton will start this countdown where basically if within that time frame, if nobody joins, the server will be turned off. So now let's go and join this. So as I said before, make sure you're gonna highlight this, right click to it and press copy. And now let's open Minecraft. And what's important to note as well is that you're running Minecraft on the version that the server is running. As you can see, the server's running 1.19.3 and on my Minecraft, I'm running that as well. So now here we are on Minecraft. And as you can see in the bottom left, you've got 1.19.3. So let's tap on multiplayer and then press add server. And then we can go and paste in the IP doing control V then press done and as you can see it's now been generated there's that custom welcome we did double tap on it and we can now go and join it and go and check this world out and here we are it's that easy guys so there we go that is how you can go and make an Atenos server and of course you can go and add mods to it add plugins um, and so much more if you found this guide useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace